I got a pretty cool setup on this park bench. I'm gonna use some of my ratty brushes to make the sketch. realized I never took a picture of my scene and a car drove away. I'm loving how my sketch is turning out and my composition I think is great. There's a nice cascading diagonal going this way and then there's a nice another cross diagonal of the trees going this way and it's just very pleasing. Time to mix up some colors. What should we start with? So let's start with a desaturated color. Okay. I'm gonna start with the yellow of this facade right here. Let's see how this looks. Pretty sure it's too dark. Oh yeah, that's it. All right, now I'm gonna get the corner of the building there so I make sure I get my yellow building correct. It's sort of lemony, but it's, it's still kind of like a mustard. I normally wouldn't do this, but I'm pretty sure I got that yellow just still a little too dark, so I'm gonna go back over it with a new color. Whoop. Oh yeah, this is a way better color. It's gonna be a cool shadow now, which is gonna make the effect of the light way more real. Okay, now I'm looking to see where's my darkest dark, and I think it is the little awning right down here. Like, I just kind of did a wash with the terpenoid, so I just got a little impatient. I just want to get this color in. sunglasses so I don't die today but I'm trying to like peer over them so I can make sure I got the color right. So I'm noticing that as the shadow on that white building goes up it turns a little bluer and so I love that so I want to make sure I capture that. roof here I have no idea what color this is it's clearly a warm color because it's in the light but it's like a, it's a black roof so it has like kind of a, an interesting brown I guess it's I guess it's a brown but I'm uh, just gonna give it a shot I guess and we'll see if it works out so the next thing I'm gonna do is the highlight on the side of that white building and it's like a really white white but it's got a pinkness to it, and I wanna make sure I capture that because that's really gonna help make it appear glowing. And another technique is to kind of keep the color on the outside of the shape. And you'll see what I mean when I paint it in, but it gives more of the effect of like a like really strong light. 
That's what the dodge effect does when you're in Photoshop. I learned that from Cynthia Shepard, by the way, so I'll put her channel in the description. All right, I think that's gonna be pretty effective. I'm gonna put in the, uh, the sky color because it'll help me see the contrast so I'm not looking at just the white canvas and getting confused. It's a pretty powerful blue color. I'm so excited. It's pretty hard for me to tell if I'm doing the blue right right now because I can see a little light coming through my canvas from the back. Color is really complicated, so sometimes you have to put down a lot of different colors and like the layering and like seeing just a little bit of this color and that color makes it look more realistic. So just like keep working, you know, if, if you find that you didn't pick the right color, keep trying different colors and that way, you know, like eventually you'll get there. When you're there in the space, you can see things a camera can never capture. So, so when you're in the field, like just try to knock it out. Don't try to get all nitpicky and get it right. Personal project. Or? I'm an artist, so I, I go around and I uh, I'm taking a video right now. Oh, oh. And I have a YouTube cool. channel and I. Uh, Are you from Summer Yeah, or? and I work at Teetotaler sometimes. Oh, okay, I thought you. Were <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, I'm Edward. I'm Maggie. Nice to meet you, Maggie. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Thank you. 